Dave Roberts. I'm Philadelphia on location in Los Angeles, and the sun is shining. It's a gorgeous day. We're glad that you uh, took some time out. I know both of you worked very, very late last night uh, on the series. How late was it, Robert? Well, it was uh, so you know, late, my mascara <laughs> fell off. <laughs> on Friday nights, usually in the television business, they go late because uh, they can pick up all the time that they've missed during the week, and they don't have to call you uh, on the, what they call turnarounds the next day, you see. And so Friday nights are usually spent with our crew and directors and actors at the studio until way late. How late was way late for you last night, Cynthia? Midnight. Midnight. And then you're up again early this morning working. How's the show going? Uh, we are talking a little bit about some new ideas and new scripts and things that you're working on for this season. Well, I, you know, we, we, you know, have been on strike, yeah. so uh, that's given the writers time to kind of polish the scripts and uh, get them together. And we had finished uh, two and a half shows before the strike started, and then we we were doing a show where Stephanie was playing two parts, she was playing two different two different people, and suddenly, you know, it's um, there was a three month delay. So when we came back, it took a little while <laughs> to gear up again. It was a very kind of difficult thing to do. It was, it was a very strange kind of thing to play with Stephanie after being with her for, you know, a year and doing that many shows. And she's doing a different character. It's a little bit difficult to get it all together. But uh, we finished that one and we just started a new one. And everybody's very happy to be back at work. And Glad that that's, that's settled and it's over with. Let's find out a little bit about, personally, uh, each, each one of you. Uh, your family, how many in, in your family, Stephanie? Little yeah. ones? You have pets, though, I know. I we, have, uh, <laughs> have Tell me about the... Four-legged children and some two-legged children. <laughs> How many? I have uh, uh, two dogs, one cat, a bush baby, a parrot, uh, a horse, and an assortment of adopted little critters that fly in or crawl in or... <laughs> Are you one of those people that can't resist taking an animal into the house and, and mothering or I'm sheltering? So, I also... I, I, I am... This, the, de the designated um, um, neighborhood sh animal shelter for all the kids who bring in little, you know, Adam. Oh, they bring in birds and... We have some mutual friends who live down the street who have two children, Adam and Rachel, and they're always bringing over some poor thing that's on its last legs, and we have to do a ritual burial ceremony for it. I mean, I have more things buried all over my place. In the backyard. The, uh, brought by. They brought by once a, a, uh, a pigeon, and old Pidgey lived for about 24 hours, and finally we had to put him in the ground. And then I decided I was going to extend my house and do some renovation, and it was right over oh, no. where the Pidgey was buried. <laughs> and they came over and they said, you're not going to dig up Pidgey, are you? I mean, no, 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 we're putting him in the foundation. And everybody, we had this big ceremony of putting Pidgey in the foundation. Oh, that's cute. They were so cute. You have three, was it three daughters? Three daughters, yes. They range from 16, 10, and 6. And um, they also appeal to Stephanie on different occasions <laughs> about burials and stuff like that. Little animals, do you, have you gone through that ritual? I know I've gone through that with oh, my youngsters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have. That squirrel that died, and we went in the backyard and had to bury the squirrel and do the whole thing. Have you had that ceremony? Oh, with sure. You three? Yeah, we have that. They, um, we have an assortment of animals as well. We have fish and and uh, birds and Doggies. dogs. Doggies. And everything. And yeah. But they're great. They're marvelous kids, and uh, they they come to the set. They were there last night, you know, watching us too. We're doing this show now about. Um, and they're so unattractive. I mean, it's. <laughs> <laughs> what a, Natalie oh, and Bob's children yes, are ugly I, children. Is that yeah, what you're you telling us? I can't believe it. I mean, you gotta. <laughs> They're really funny. Understand. Are they going to get in the business? Are they oh, interested in know. it? Yeah, they they are very interested in it. I'd like to see them get their uh, education first, and then I mean, if they want to pursue it, it would be. I'd love it. I mean, it's a wonderful, wonderful way to uh, make a living and, and and be part of it. You know, and be part of. It. I'd like very much for them if they would like to pursue it to to go into it. But I'd, now at this point, I'd rather have them wait and get their education. You know what happens is if they if they if they I feel that if they do they do something now at this age, uh, their peers look at them in a different way. And I'd like to have them rather have a normal uh, child life and go to school and just be what they are instead of be somebody that's you know looked at as one who's been in a picture or done something. Is that difficult to grow up when you 
when you start from that foundation for either one of you when you start in a business? Well, you know, I think maybe business. Stephanie could tell you that Stephanie. better because you started pretty young. Fifteen. Yeah, yeah I was fifteen. Uh, <coughs> I think it, obviously, it has a great deal to do with your family and uh, the, the reality base that with which you uh, deal with in your own lives. And I was fortunate to have a mother who was, uh, uh, wanted me to be happy and uh, wanted everything to be uh, normal and, uh, and was extremely supportive no matter what happened. I grew up at home, so I, did, I had a great advantage of not having to come here and make my way in the city or fall into <clears throat> an unfortunate influence as many people could have did. And, uh, could have. So I was very lucky in that way. Well, you know, my you. wife started very young. I was yes, great to hear did. you say that, you know, because Natalie started when she was four Maybe. years old. Yeah, four or five years old. And people often ask and say, well, wasn't that terrible being brought up in the picture business? You know? And it really wasn't. It was sort of like what you were saying. You know, I think it all depends on what your family atmosphere is and how, and how your mother and your father are behaving with you. Don't you think so? That Absolutely. That carries you through Absolutely. the whole day. We thank both of you for uh, paying us a visit. Actually, I'm paying you two a visit because I'm out here in Los Listen, Angeles. Congratulations. I'd like to congratulate the Phillies. That was terrific. It was a right. marvelous series. Yes. And the uh, Eagles, Eagles are going to follow suit now. Oh, yeah. no, wait I, a I know you're with the Los Angeles <laughs> Rams. No, wait a minute. I'm in That's trouble. That's getting in temporary territory. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Wagner, Stephanie Powers, in Philadelphia on location in Los Angeles. There's more to come, so please stay with us. Thank, thank you, Bob. Thanks, Stephanie.